Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Now, a few years ago on my channel, I tried to make my very first silicon mold. It was a disaster. I tried to mold these glass hearts and honestly, that silicon fused to the glass. They were a nightmare, but the Let's Resin silicon rubber does not fuse to glass. I did a little bit of a test run because honestly, it's been years, like four years since I tried. And I've been so looking forward to actually making a mold of these heart tea lights and doing it properly and actually getting an end result that I can use again and again. Now to make my mold, I am using the Let's Resin Mold Housing. You've seen this before on my channel. I am a silicon ambassador for Let's Resin. So all of the details will be down in the description box below alongside your 10% discount. They actually sent me two. So one mold housing is perfect perfect for what I need, but they sent me another one in case I wanted to do a mold that was really quite tall. I haven't yet done that, but hopefully I'll find something cool enough to actually make a silicon mold of. Now these mold housings come in sections, so it's just a case of putting all the sections together until you work out the size of the housing that you need for the item that you wish to mold. Now, I do have three of these tea lights, but I'm just gonna mold two because really, yeah, I don't feel like I need to mold all three of them, but two's a good number, two's a good number. So I just make sure that I get all of the pieces that I need for the right size, making sure there's enough space between each piece. And then I use the bulldog clips that are included in the kit and I put them all together. The kit also does come with some double-sided sticky tape, but I'm not gonna be using that because I love sellotape as a base and Let's Resin Silicon does not adhere to sellotape. It comes away beautifully, but it also doesn't leave a sticky surface. Now, I have tried other things. I've tried transfer tape, I've tried vinyl, and it always leaves a really tacky surface at the end of it. Again, you can still use the mold, but I'd just really rather use the sellotape. So here I am just getting strips of sellotape and putting them across the base of my mold housing, pressing down firmly around all of those inside edges to make sure that no silicon seeps out when we pour in and we are pouring quite a bit of silicon. Now, if you are selling silicon molds, then this might not be the method for you, but I am using this for myself and I don't mind all of the little creases and indentations that come along with using sellotape. The next thing I need to do is give these glass hearts a good old polish and put some gloves on because I do not want fingerprints left on these. Trust me, if I left a single fingerprint on these glass hearts, the silicon would pick it up. And if in the future I used resin, then the resin would pick up my fingerprints. So definitely use gloves when you are placing your items down into your mold housing. And I'm really quite happy about this so far now. I push them down super firmly and I really do give them a shove to make sure that they are fully stuck to that tape. I'm happy with how much wall there is around each heart. And then it's just time to mix up my silicon. Now, this silicon rubber is so, so easy to use. It is measurable by weight. Part A, part B, equal parts. And then you give it a mix for around about five minutes. Now you can color your silicon, so I decided to go over to my shadow foam wall. I picked this beautiful green pigment from Resin Pro and also my Let's Resin Green Mica Powder. A bit of a mixture of two different greens and I absolutely love it because it is Christmas. Now this silicon rubber really is bubble free, but to actually ensure that you get minimal bubbles, you're gonna pour your silicon from high up. I am pouring from around three feet off my desk, maybe maybe two and a half feet off my desk to ensure that when that silicon hits the object, it's gonna actually blow out bubbles by itself and it's just gonna reduce any bubbles that might form. But honestly, I've been using this silicon rubber for a while now and I've never really had a problem with any bubbles whatsoever, I would say none in fact. 
So now we can just enjoy it. We can just enjoy the visual aesthetic that this gives because honestly, I could watch this for hours. This reminds me of the way alcohol inks interact with each other in epoxy resin. The two mica powders were creating some stunning effects and I just wish it stayed like this. Maybe it would stay like this if you left it to cure up a bit, but there's no way I would risk all that silicon. So I pour immediately after mixing but look at this, it's so pretty. You could create all these gorgeous patterns in your silicon. Again, it didn't stay like that. So I spent way too much time doing this for something that's just not gonna end up looking like this, but I just couldn't help it. I thought you guys would appreciate it as well because how pretty is it? So this is now the next day and it is time to demold. And like I said, the pattern didn't stay there, which is such a shame. The next thing you wanna do is just turn your mold over and peel back your tape or peel it off of whatever surface you've got it on. And then all the bulldog clips at the side come away so, so easily. And I'm so happy. You can see the little dinks and the creases here from the sellotape. But again, this mold is for me. I'm not selling it, so it doesn't have to be perfect handmade with love and not perfection as we all now know take the bulldog clips off such an easy mold housing kit to use once you've done that it's just a case of pulling apart all of the sides and they come away so easily and the edges are crisp and the mold is crisp and everything is gorgeous honestly i was so so happy you i cannot tell you i have stared at these glass hearts for the last three years since that disaster video. I'm gonna mold you one day. I am gonna mold you one day. <laughs> so yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I tested it out with a little bit of the silicon to see if it would fuse like the last one did. It was a different brand, I can't remember the name, and it didn't, oh, I just got so excited. So here we are, this, like I said, is the next day and it's time to take these glass hearts out. They come out so, so easily, but I am just being careful around those edges just in case we got any fusion. We didn't, it was fine. The bottoms of these actual tea light holders are a little bit rounded and that has given me a bit of a scruffy edge. That's okay, you can go round with your trimmers and trim them or scissors and trim them. I'm not gonna do that because usually when I do that, I destroy it. I destroy the mold. So I'm just gonna take them out, get ready to pour my next item in and leave those edges well alone. I am gonna be using jesmonite to create my Christmas candles. This is a perfect material to make tea light holders and things like that. I've also made candles. You can check that out on my channel. Now I'm gonna be using the pigments that were sent to me by Homeware Design. Again, not sponsored. They sent these to me to try out with no obligation. And you know, I have to go Zen Green. I am obsessed with this color. I'm obsessed with it. I feel almost guilty. I've given none of the other colors a chance. <laughs> they are all beautiful, but there is something about this Zen Green. Now this is just two drops of Zen Green and it is exactly that. It is Zen. This reminds me of like, this is giving me spa, like spa relaxation room color scheme absolutely stunning but i want a darker green i want a christmas green so i am adding some more pigment until i am really really happy and then it's time to pour it into my molds and it really is as simple as that if you ever feel intimidated by making silicon molds please don't that was me for so long of course if you're thinking of making them to sell and making a career out of it I'm not your girl like I just make what I need and I'm happy with that but yes honestly so much fun and so rewarding to find something that is either you've made yourself or that you've got laying around the house and make your own mold of it it's the coolest feeling okay a bit of a shimmy a bit of a shake and now it's just a case of leaving these to set up for 30 minutes and here we are 30 minutes later and it is time to take these babies out and i'm so happy the bottoms are a little bit rough so i will be going around the bottoms with my nail file or some sanding paper whatever it is that you use to sand back your items but I'm loving them. I'm loving this color as well. Once I've demolded both, I'm happy. I now know that I have finally, after all these years, molded the glass tea light hearts that I've been wanting to mold 
ever since day one and I've done it. And now I can just mold as many as I want. Imagine as a Christmas gift, these would be perfect. But now, taking away some lessons from my first stenciling video, I'm going to be stenciling these with the miniature snowflakes that I've got from Amazon. I'm actually using kitchen sponge. Might not be the best. I did cut off a tiny bit of sponge, but it, it ended up not really doing the best job. So I used a whole sponge. I'm using plain, cheap white acrylic paint from the works. This tube was two pounds. It's old though, so I don't know if it's still two pounds, but definitely check it out. The first one was a big, messy blob. So I just wiped it clean off. You can wipe acrylic paint straight off Jesmonite. If you're fast, you can wipe it off. And I decided to really just dry up my sponge. I've got barely any paint on my sponge whatsoever. It is, it felt dry to the touch because I want this faded glimmer, this almost hint of a frosty style snowflake. I don't want them big and bright and bold. If you saw my recent video with Jesmonite using this technique on Jesmonite coasters, oh my gosh, I loved them. Then yeah, I kind of learned a few things from that video. And honestly, the drier your sponge is, the better depending on what you want as a finished result. But I'm loving this kind of frosted, almost Narnia, just soft, gentle, frosted. <laughs> Look at me and all my vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. The first thing I need to do now is do the other one. And I decided to keep the other one simple. I just put on three snowflakes and I frosted the edge. This is so pretty. It looks like when you wake up on a winter's morning and everything is just covered in this gorgeous white layer of frost. Unless, you know, it snows where you are. It doesn't snow here, unfortunately, although for anyone in the UK, you'll all know that we just got a weather warning saying that Arctic conditions are coming. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Obviously, you know, I want everyone to be okay, but um, yeah, it's exciting. And here they are, they are finished. I'm so happy. I did seal them for anyone wondering. I did use my Jesmonite acrylic sealer. I still have not got the new one. Oh my gosh, I really need to get on that. I did give them two coats of sealer before I let them dry and put my candles in and they are here with my Noel sign. If you've been with me since the beginning, you'll recognize that sign. I made that, I want to say, three or four years ago on my channel and it is still going strong to this day day. I love it. It lives on my radiator cover. So I've put my two little tea lights right in front of my Noel sign and I love them. I love them so much. I was toying with the idea of making two red ones, very similar to the coasters actually. I was going to make two red ones but decided, you know, I'm really into this green right now and how many do I need really? But what I might do is actually make some handmade gifts this year for my friends and hope that they love them too. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've made any silicon molds. Like I said, I am a silicon mold ambassador for Let's Resin. So the mold housing, the silicon, everything from Let's Resin, the links will be down in the description box below with your discount code as well. So go ahead, if you're gonna get anything, get that 10%. Oh my gosh, use that code. I am absolutely, in love with these. I hope you've enjoyed it as well and I hope you feel inspired to find something around your house that you can just make a silicon mold from and I hope you don't feel too intimidated like I did when I very very first started. Anyway I'm gonna stop talking again. I hope you've enjoyed the videos every night this week and I will see you tomorrow for the Friday night video which is going back to the Let's Resin molds and I'm making some gorgeous personalized Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Personalized Christmas tree decorations. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light. I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days. Wander around with you. You and me in the cold thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. 
Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belts Drinking hot wine by the fire I don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here Now it is time to get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring Nobody loves you as much as I do It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend Pick up some candy canes and hang a wreath on your door It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you